Bunny, well, uh, she do love is under here, girls. And uh, Soaring Eagle and I are taking off from uh, Saunders Shelter. And as you can see, the weather is normal. Bit rainy. There's a shelter, and it was pretty deep. And uh, so when it did start raining, and it had a tin roof, so it was pretty cool. Um, sounding. And then, uh, so we had a good night. Um, a little, I was a little cold, but the normal person would not have been cold. So, gonna head down to uh, about five miles, maybe, and. Uh, there's a campsite, camp spot where we're going to camp and just go on from there. So, having a great time. Everybody, have a blessed day and uh, get out and hike. Good morning, Soaring Eagle. Good morning. What do you think? Hey, let's do it in the rain. Let's do it in the rain. Get going forward. There right. he's, he's got the skirt. Is that his EPAC skirt? Yeah. All right, looking good. Uh -huh. Northbound it is. We're making it up to Blue Blaze here. We're back to the AT. Came out the east side of the shelter. This is where I came in from last night. Southbound. Yeah. Whew. This is the spot. I seem to have lost Soaring Eagle, but he'll catch up. This is the spot where G slipped and fell seven times on that seven mile hike. It was dark, we never knew what it looked like. Thank goodness he never landed on one of these rocks. It was probably right down here, totally covered in leaves. It was uh, this. Maybe the first part of January. I just don't remember. No, it would have had to been November. It was November. Anyway, yep, it was in this area. Lots of leaves, real slippery, and he had on the wrong shoes. So, today we get to see what we walked through that night. And gut hooks basically led us through. I'm really looking forward to the rocky ridge that I thought was about 30 yards wide and he says it's more like a couple hundred. I'm sure he is probably right. Much better at those things than I am, but anyway, it is a great day to hike. If you're gonna hike in the rain, this is the kind of rainy day to have. Just cool enough to hopefully not sweat, hopefully not get too wet with the humidity. Um, but not be too freezing. So, and it's just kind of sprinkling off and on and not really raining non-stop. So, I don't know. It doesn't get much better than this as far as rain goes, as far as I'm concerned. All right, well, we're heading down. We're, we're starting fairly late today, which we know we're going a short distance. So, but not only... Am I having a severe problem sleeping on the ground due to pain? Uh, that's, well, that's a totally separate issue. The main reason I started this little segment is um, it really takes me a long time to get ready to go. And it's a little bit frustrating. Now, this is only my 19th or 20th day actually hiking. And some of those days were... Uh, trailhead to trailhead so but you know the night staying in the shelter in the tent I guess I just haven't had enough practice yet and plus I'm in a different pack now which is different and now I'm considering going back to the Osprey just 
because of the weight bearing. Just got, I just got to get the weight bearing on my hips, and I can already feel it in my trapezius this morning. Um, this weight is a reasonable weight, and uh, with the Osprey, I wouldn't be feeling it. Need to find me a little grumpy figurine, strap it to my pack, and uh, I'm going to carry that to Katana. So, then you all know where I can get something like that made out of plastic so it can get wet, won't break. Small, lightweight, <laughs> obviously. Let me know. Because if he hadn't come along when he did and helped to lighten my load, just, just that three pounds and the bulk. The bulk is just so hard. The less bulk using that lighten equipment quilt and then being able to use the uh, lighter weight liner. Uh, the bulk difference is probably takes up one third or less of the space. So that was a huge help. Anyway, 2,190 miles. I want to hike. As I said yesterday, I've already proven to myself that at the physical capacity that I am at right now, uh, I could do traditional if I started in April and then could tolerate uh, the hot summers wherever I would be and go fast enough, you know, to get there to get to Katahdin. So what's really going through my mind is as I continue this hike, however I figure out to spend the camping hours, uh, oh, and I would have to hammock. The only way I can do this is to hammock, which I've never done, but I have been in a hammock enough to know that I could sleep in a hammock. But the pain that I go through every night in the tent and in the uh, sleeping bag in my low back, which is the real issue. I can't even fathom to try to describe to you. And uh, so, you know, you can't do this and not be because you're awake for eight or nine hours just trying to find some kind of a position that is comfortable to you. Climate camping requires a real learning curve in addition to a lot of equipment. So, we'll see. But now, my goal is hike 2,190 miles in whatever shape or form it takes that I have to do in order to keep going forward with the limitations that I have. So, still the plan. now. This particular ridge is not very wide. So if you're night hiking on a ridge like this and uh, the trail, you, you can't really see this one trail because it's covered in a foot of leaves. And then your headlamp won't shine far enough to see that white blaze. You just really don't know. And you can't see how far it is before you're at the edge there or over there. So, again, gut hooks. It's really pretty cool up here, and I'm enjoying seeing spot that gave us so much trouble last year.
last season, I should say. So I guess one option for me at this point would be to uh, do as much trailhead to trailhead. Soaring Eagle is through hiking, so he'll be tenting wherever, carrying all his stuff, and um, as far as I know. But then we can hike together during the day, and it would depend on where the tent site is for him, uh, or shelter, or whatever. But I can go ahead and, when possible, stay in the van while possibly starting to try to collect the, uh, I mean, y'all know I'm not one to give up uh, on any aspect, so, and obviously these are things that would have been great to have gotten done beforehand, but not only did we not have the funds at the time, we really didn't have the location opportunity, so, again, this is, uh, through hike is sort of uh, some shakedown going on, but start collecting uh, perhaps for uh, um, well hammock camping. My criteria is going to be. Lightweight, simple, warm, and uh, easy to put up, easy to take down, easy to get in and out of, and a good, uh, the cover thing with the doors so that I can close the wind out on either end, I think is, you know, and with that, perhaps, well, I know I can sleep in a, in a hammock very comfortably. I just don't really like not being totally enclosed. But if that's what it takes for me to get back to hiking with camping, because I, I just, I can't do this to my lower back. Uh, yeah, I can handle the weight. I can handle the hiking. Um, you know, working out how to take care of the trapezius, but that uh, intense, severe low back pain will in it will turn into a sciatic pain down the leg if I let it get that bad night after night. So uh, I'm not sad or depressed, even though my voice is kind of maybe sounding that way. It's just going down this hill in wet grass and concentrating really hard and, um, you know, just trying to make sure I don't make a mistake. But anyway, so any thoughts y'all have, uh, keep in mind that we uh, can't spend, you know, we'll have to be careful on the, we need to go on the economical side and still try to stay really lightweight. And I'm assuming I can use the, the quilt as the top quilt. And if that's not true, maybe you, some of you out there who know about these things can let me know. And I mean, as long as Grumpy doesn't need it, you know, then that part's covered. And then I guess you need an under quilt. And then the hammock and the cover. Uh, yeah. So, open for discussion, folks. But in the meantime, I am going to have to back up and punt, which means I am going to keep putting on the miles. We know Virginia. We know where he can park. And uh, I'll still carry, you know, decent weight simply because, again, I want to strengthen my legs and um, this is not about slap packing. It's about uh, being able to go forward and sleep at night without injuring myself. So, the thread is open. The discussion is on. Y'all throw it out there.
give the ideas, and I'm, I may not, like, give long responses to everybody on this one, you know, maybe just a, a thumbs up if you don't mind, and, um, you know, if you have ideas that are good, you have ideas that maybe I think won't work for me, I'm really not going to take the time to go back and forth on that, uh, but what I'll do is put it in the, uh, next, in the video after I've seen them. I'll, I'll discuss them because I'm not having a lot of time. We're in Virginia. We got no service. So I'm not going to have very many opportunities to actually even look at, much less respond to comments. So when I do, I want to be able to read the comments and take them to heart and think about them. And then I'll respond to them in a video. Uh, so be lots of thumbs up for making the comment, knowing that I appreciate them so very much. And, uh, Hopefully y'all can help me learn about this uh, thing that I have honestly never really researched because I didn't want to do it. I was determined that I was going to be able to handle the tenting on the ground or, you know, in, in the shelter. But there's no other options for me to try that would be obviously weight. I mean, even the ones I found were just too heavy, really, but they're okay. I could do them. But anything else would be even more heavy, and I can't go more heavy. So, yeah, that's the plan. So, looking forward to hearing what y'all had to say about it, and uh, your ongoing encouragement. And um, it's just so uplifting, and it so helps me to have a... I mean, I'm going to keep going, whether you guys are there or not, honestly. I mean, you know, I'm doing this for me. I just want to hike this 2,190 miles, and it's like my mom said, you know, went to the 10 cent store, 5, 10, 25 cent store, y'all remember those? Going to buy me a coloring book. I looked at every single coloring book and every single page of every single one before I would pick one, so <laughs> it's kind of like that on the trail. I'm not a purist. I just want to see every single inch of the trail. So, as long as my body will carry me and my family situation allows it, I am hiking this trail. Looking forward to your input. Good day, huh? It's a great day. Yeah. Tremendous weather. I know that sounds crazy when it's overcast, but you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely makes it worth it each day. It does, absolutely. This is the uh, this is the gain for the pain. <laughs> That's right, gain for the pain, so we can get to Maine. There you go. Absolutely. little slippery rocks here. Just two steps. Well, I'm encouraged again, just thinking that yes, there might be a way that I could do the whole, you know, camp in the woods. And that would mean that even when it's raining and storming, unless it's super, super bad, instead of staying in a shelter, I'd be staying in a hammock, but with those, it looks like like you can put up the uh, the tarp, the cover, whatever, whatever you call it, when you're dry underneath, fixing everything else. And uh, I guess if you're in a good enough spot, you could put Tyvek down, maybe on the ground, put your bag on. I know I've seen people hang them on trees. Uh, anyway, like I said, I've never even researched it because I wasn't interested. So, first will be research, and that'll take a while, but that's my solution to this dilemma. Keep hiking in the meantime.
Got another little mini forest of mountain laurel here on the right. Oh my goodness, gonna be beautiful when the flowers come out. Some rhododendron mixed in. Yep, we're supposed to be going downhill. Oh well, I didn't look at the elevation map. I just looked at the start and the finish. So I guess in the middle we have an uphill. <laughs> Helps if you look at the elevation, if you really want to know what's ahead of you. Whew. Almost a walk in the woods trail along this ridge. There's your view. Back southbound. And to the south. Over to your left. I think we're at about 3,270, 3,300, something like that. Anyway, once we start down here, we got about 270 down, 3,000 something. And uh, then we're taking the spur trail to the Bear Tree Gap. How we're going to do this where I can have G at the trailheads so that I can uh, sleep with my back issue and then uh, Soaring Eagle can go ahead and tent and uh, like I said he may not be able to be right there at that location but kind of like what I was planning originally and will eventually maybe do I don't know we'll see G, G is still not able to hike but uh, anyway to figure out where he can tent within a reasonable distance so when we start out in the morning we can still hook up so that's the plan oh they just threw in another itty bitty up here so maybe I haven't got to the very top of this little climb we're on yet maybe this is it but you know this is what I need ups and downs and ups and downs Build the muscles, get them strong, and build up the stamina to do longer ones, higher ones, further ones. really a pleasant walk from uh, Saunders Shelter down to this Bear Tree Gap Trail. Yeah, it looks like we're coming up on the side trail up here. North that way. Quarter mile to 58. Bear Tree Gap Trail. All right, so we're gonna go this way. So, uh, can you tell us what your final job in the military was? My final job in the military was the 28th Support Group Commander at uh, Ellsworth Air Force Base. Um, in that role, I was responsible for all the base activities, uh, communications, security forces civil engineering, services, uh, personnel, uh, basically the support element of, uh, of the Air Force operation. And so I was the commander of that group. You made a comment, something about you decided when you had the best job you'd ever had? Yeah, I had always decided that uh, it wasn't about staying a full 30 years or anything like that. It was about uh, leaving when I felt like I had the best job that I ever had and, uh, and commanding the uh, 1,500 folks and taking them to combat was uh, was definitely the uh, the highlight of the career, and I uh, I felt that that was never going to get any better better than that. So I decided that was a good time to uh, to punch. 
Did you stay pretty active most of your life? And if so, I mean, when did you get into hiking? What did you do before that? Yeah, I've tried to stay active uh, uh, throughout the years to some degree. Uh, a lot of bike riding. I've done some uh, dis long distance bike rides um, and decided that I uh, wanted to continue that. And I thought that uh, hiking would be another uh, opportunity to uh, stay physically fit and uh, give me uh, another adventure. And so about two years ago, I uh, started looking at, at hiking just the sections of the Appalachian Trail. and saw all the different videos and YouTubes that are out there and thought, well, maybe uh, being out there on the uh, Appalachian Trail for a, a longer adventure would be, uh, would be exciting. I've never really thought that the through hike was the ultimate goal, but uh, spending a lot of time on the Appalachian Trail as an adventure I thought would be uh, an exciting thing.